I'm here with uh, Justin, the purple people eater Greskowitz, fighting out a Cool Hearts uh, gym in Philadelphia. Justin, a big fan favorite uh, for Friday Night Fights. Uh, you just had a heck of a war with Omar. Uh, tell us a little bit how that fight went down. He's a really, really tough kid. Um, it was a really good fight. I think it was a, uh, you know, it was it was a tough fight for both of us, but um, I felt like I controlled it and I had a really good time doing it. So it was a good one. How's your? Uh, I know you like to cut quite a bit of weight for fights. How's your weight right now? It, my weight is it's heavy. No, no, uh, it's not too bad. Um, I, I don't want to fight super heavy because I want to stay competitive um, at the highest level with the weight that I'm at. Um, so I'm not looking to fight too much heavier than 147, and I probably won't make too much lighter than 140. Um, but anywhere in there, you know, there's a couple different weight classes and different organizations have different weight classes. But um, I, I walk around a, a lot heavier than that. So uh, the sauna is kind of like my best friend and worst enemy with that, especially day before fights on weigh-in day. We're here on top of uh, Times Square, sitting in the uh, capital of the world, New York. The big, big New York fight that everyone has been wanting to see for 10 years, Ramulo Hines. How do you see it as a fighter? You know what? I'm, I'm saying it's it's absolutely going to be a knockout either way, but I got to go with Chris. Um, I say, you know, Sean is a busy fighter and he looks for the knockout too, the same way Chris does. They're both technical, but I mean, Chris has really been putting it together. I don't think Sean's been as busy as, as Chris and um, I don't I don't think his level's coming along as steep of an incline as, as kind of the level of, of Chris's uh, you know, ability and just his comfort level in, in the ring and just his ability to, to, to find that knockout when he wants it, you know? One, one final question, a really technical one. How many seven-year-olds could you fight before they overwhelmed you and took you down? I'd say like 130. If, as long as I had a cup, um, what I'm saying is that all you need to do is pick one out and, and make an example of them. And then they all take a step back, you know what I mean? And then you can pick them up by the ankles and use them as, a, you know, all kinds of... Maybe we got you know, ideas very, for uh, future events. Very uh, technical. Friday Night Fights, May 14th, The Armory. Uh, be there. Be there.